Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel The Coach Studio. In this video series, we'll show you step by step process that how to work with the Python built in database SQLite using Python program. So first we will begin with our intro, then we'll show you how to import and use this package in the PyCharm and after this we'll work with the basic crude operations in SQLite database which is creating a table, inserting records and fetching the data. Now, as you know that SQLite is a C library that provides a lightweight disk based database that doesn't require a separate server process and allows accessing the database using a non-standard variant of the SQL query language. In short, that this is a database in which you don't need a server. Okay, this will create a database in your local device memory. Now, some applications can use SQLite for internal data storage. It's also possible to prototype an application using SQLite and then port the code to a larger database such as PostgreSQL or Oracle. Now, if you are not aware of PostgreSQL or its syntax, you can refer to my other playlist named PostgreSQL where you can learn from basic to expert that how to use PostgreSQL for data analytics. I have provided the link in description also. Now, if you are a software developer, I believe you must be known even have used an extremely lightweight database in SQLite in other languages such as Java or Android and etc. So it almost features you need as like relational database but everything is saved in a single file. Now, most importantly, SQLite is a actually built in Python library. Okay, so in other words, you don't need to install any server side client software as I've mentioned earlier. And you don't need to keep something running as a service such as XAMPP or anything else which we used in Java programming. As long as you import this library in Python and start coding, then you have a relational database management system with you. Now, in our next video, we will see how to import and use this library in our PyCharm Studio. So, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.